St. Peter's has a parking problem. Commuters battle for parking, escape tickets, avoid boots, and dodge towing. When will the madness end? Or is this just the beginning of an agonizing parking nightmare? So the parking at St. Peter's is so bad that whenever it snows, there's never parking in lot three. So there's never parking on the street either if you want to park on the street. So I would end up missing my first class of the day. I don't know how many absences I have. My car got towed from the 140 lot. Um, I had just parked there and um, I was texting in my car and then I came out and as I was walking out I saw that campus safety had blocked the um, entry to the parking lot and I walked right past them. They looked at me, they didn't say anything and then the next morning I found out that my car got towed and um, I don't know. It wasn't very helpful that they didn't say anything so I was really annoyed and it ended up costing me $250 to um, get my car back, so, yeah. Car is convenient, but there's also a hassle of being here in Jersey City with all the parking regulations. Like here on Glenwood, like where most of the students live, we have to move the cars from 3 o'clock to 9 p.m. And once it reaches 9 p.m., everyone's like running around trying to get a parking spot with only a limited amount of spaces. So it's pretty difficult having a car here. Uh, I was a commuter here for two years at St. Peter's and uh, I didn't want to pay $160, $170 for a parking pass so I would make do with finding parking on Montgomery, on Glenwood and being an athlete as well for practice I had to move my car, I had to make sure that I had my car in a good spot. Um, I had to set alarms on my phone to make sure that like I would actually remember. Uh, once I forgot, luckily I didn't get a ticket but I managed to get there in time. You see commuters running up and down Glenwood Avenue when the uh, parking lots are full trying to find a, a spot. It's, it's chaos. Sounds like student drivers will have to get up a bit early to avoid these parking walls. Hopefully St. Peter's is planning on decreasing the frustration by acting on these complaints. Only time will tell.